All right, Brad, are you ready to begin, my friend? I, I am ready, so go ahead. Take it away, and I'll be ready when you are. All righty, so we're going to go ahead, and again, if you guys have any questions during the webinar, please feel free to write them down, email them to me after. We'll have a little discussion, um, and again, we'll send out all copies of any questions that one person might have and all written responses via email to all of the attendees today. Within the next few days, that'll be in your inbox, um, so don't worry about that. Every question will be answered. Um, first off, Sobo, we're proud to partner with our friend here and incentives. Brad, Brett Schneider will be representing them. They are a full service incentive recognition and loyalty firm that we've actually recently partnered with. Hinda has 125 million in sales with various customers such as State Farm or Marriott and Blue Cross and of course the great Sobo Concepts. Um, you guys may have seen my email recently. I told you that we started with Hinda almost a year ago now. Uh, last year was actually supposed to be a maintenance year for us, where we were planning on just setting the company up for more long-term growth, but we actually ended up growing a lot more than we previously expected. So we were obviously very happy with that, and I figured, hey, why not spread the love a bit? So we wanted to host this webinar, let you guys know of the various benefits. So without further ado, Brad, go ahead and take it away, my friend. Okay. Hey, thanks, Kevin. Um, Appreciate it, and uh, thank you again to all our webinar attendees for joining us today. Um, our objective today is to give you an overview of incentives, recognition, and loyalty solutions, and how Sobo's partnership with Hinda can benefit you and your organization. Uh, we'll talk through the practical reasons for incentives, how to use them, uh, and end the webinar with some real online examples of solutions we've Im implemented and some of those that we offer. Uh, if you have any questions, as Kevin mentioned, you know, please write them down, email Kevin in the coming days, and we'll answer uh, all questions via email. We think that might be the best thing to do in the interest of time. The purpose of incentives, recognition, and loyalty is typically the same no matter who the target audience, whether they are employees, customers, or independent salespeople. The effort is almost always to attract, retain, and engage the participants. Uh, we do this by creating a solution that raises the awareness level and creates a strong emotional connection with your organization, your brand, or your product. Uh, the best example of awareness level is the purchase of a new car. I think we've all experienced this before. After you purchase a new car, you suddenly see that same car, your car, everywhere. Those cars were there before, but now your awareness level is raised and you notice them as you are on the road. When we Absolutely. talk about an emotional connection, we want people to feel connected to the organization or brand. Uh, remember, people engage or participate or buy on feeling and emotion, and then they justify with logic. This is true, you know, whether they're consumers or employees. A big thought we want to make sure you take away from today is moving the middle. Uh, for successful solutions, we want to focus on the middle. There will always be a top 10% who will engage and participate and succeed no matter what. No matter how difficult or easy it is, that top 10% will always do great things. Conversely, there will always be a bottom 10% who will not engage no matter how easy we make it. Uh, this is true of employees, salespeople, and consumers. We often refer to this as the 80-20 rule. We always want to move the middle. The key for large-scale success is to focus on moving the middle. This is where the largest number of opportunities lie and therefore where the greatest gains can be made. On this slide, you'll see one of the key things we want to talk about today. In order to move the middle, we need to use three key elements of communi communication and rewards, promotional products, incentives, and recognition. Promotional products are inexpensive in nature. They're typically given to the participants and designed to promote the objective, theme, or events. These items should be given out as frequently as necessary to keep the goals top of mind. We really want to focus on that awareness level with the promotional products. Incentives are rewards that must be earned on the way toward a larger objective. Typically, they are rewarded on a monthly basis but they might extend out to a quarterly time frame. Successful incentives 
are usually personal in nature, targeted toward the recipient's individual likes, their hobbies, or their passions. And then recognition is reserved for the best of the best. These have to be earned and they're awarded on an annual basis or upon a milestone accomplishment. Recognition is more successful if given in a public forum where promotional product and incentives or rewards don't require a public gathering when presented. Here are some images of each form of communication. The proper and balanced use of these three communication elements helps to create a successful program. In the top left-hand corner, I know you see some you know, typical promotional product things, uh, giveaways that are designed, again, to, to promote the idea, the theme, the objective. In the right-hand corner, you'll see you know, a watch or a day at the spa. Uh, could be a lot of different things, but we want to focus in on what would make someone take some action. And in the bottom, you see recognition being given in a uh, group uh, or public setting uh, quite often it's a symbolic award, like a plaque or a certificate. Those work really well for recognition. So how are we going to do this? How do we make this all work for you and your organization? First and foremost, we have to decide what is important. You know, is the objective employee engagement? Is it customer loyalty, sales growth, safety awareness, and improvement? Uh, or is it attendance? And keep in mind, whatever you celebrate will multiply. I'm going to say that again because I think it's a powerful thought. Whatever you celebrate will multiply. Reinforcing desired behaviors will encourage and increase those behaviors, again, whether it's employees, salespeople, or consumers. Creating a positive experience will help you build an emotional connection between your target audience and the objectives you are focused on. Focus on affecting that middle 80% for the greatest gains and improvements. So when we talk about how we're going to do this, and we mentioned the partnership now between Sobo and Hinda, we're going to tell you a little bit more about that partnership and, and how it could work for you and, and what the details of that partnership are. Um, let's give you some detail on how that might help you. Hinda has over 7,000 name brand rewards in their incentive catalog from big screen TVs, bicycles, camping gear, and the latest trending jewelry and electronics, your participants have a huge selection of rewards. 80% of the rewards are warehoused, so we're able to fulfill most orders within about 72 hours. Your people have worked hard to earn those, those rewards. They deserve to receive them as soon and as quickly as possible. Our fastest growing category within the rewards catalog is travel and experiences. Um, travel and experiences are within the rewards portfolio from trips, cruises, uh, fishing trips, a day at the spa, sporting events. Your people will be able to select from 700 plus getaways and experiences. And I will just say as a little aside here that these are becoming so, so popular, uh, especially the younger people. I don't know if it's a millennial uh, situation, but they really desire those experiences where I believe uh, an old guy like myself, I prefer a new set of golf clubs, but uh, these experiences are really moving the needle and moving that middle population. Yeah, I can definitely speak to that. Just, I mean, as far as materialism go, I know me and my girlfriend, we like experiences when Christmas comes around as opposed to gifts. So this goes same with incentives. I would always, personally speaking, rather go on a great vacation or experience a wonderful massage or a day at the spa as opposed to the materialism. But again, yeah, that's just a generational gap. It's funny that how that's changing. Thanks, Kevin. Now you made me feel like a really old guy. Thanks. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, um, hey, it goes both ways. Whatever floats your boat, right? Okay. So we have it all. Um, so a, a couple things. Um, let's review. In a few minutes, we'll review a couple examples, real-life examples. Uh, but here's a list on this particular slide of some of the different things that we could affect when we put uh, the partnership of Sobo and Hinda and let it work for you. Our subject matter app experts will structure solutions specifically directed to influence your people and get the results you want. We do obviously have some subject matter experts in employee engagement, loyalty, safety, sales programs, all of those. So whether you need help with your employees, consumers and customers, or independent salespeople, we have cost-effective resources to move your people toward the desired objectives. 
Creating that positive emotional connection is critical to our success. And just earlier today, I saw a quote, I think it was Maya Angelou, and it was interesting, the timing of it. It said that people may forget, you know, what you say. They may forget what you do, but they will never forget how you made them feel. And I thought, wow, I saw that uh, in an email only probably an hour ago or so. I thought, that's perfect. That's exactly what we're talking about. We want to create that positive feeling and connection with your participants. Um, to do this, we provide customized packaging so your people will know and identify the reward immediately when it is delivered. White boxes instead of brown, packing tape with your logo or theme, tissue paper in your corporate colors, and an insert card with your logo or theme reminding them exactly why they received the reward, creating that memorable moment and an emotional connection. Our warehouse manager likes to say, every box is a celebration, and I believe he's hit the nail on the head with that phrase. Uh, in summary, before we show you a couple examples here, you know, it's really just taking about a balanced approach, and you can use Sobo's Hinda and Hinda's partnership so you can employ all three forms of communication, promotional product, incentives, and recognition. And by doing that, you can create a really successful program, and we will help you create that successful program with program design and make sure that it works. Uh, one of the examples we're going to discuss um, in a few moments, I'll show you a live sample of, is what I call a do this, get that solution. If you want to reward your people with a choice of rewards, Select an award is a good cost-effective solution. You present a gift card to the winner, and the winner uses the code and website on the back of the card to go online and select his or her reward. It's simple, it's easy to administer, and offers your winners a choice of about 25 to 35 name brand rewards at a, speci at a specific price point. For larger or more complex opportunities, we have several customizable web solutions. Each participant has his or her own username and password on a site that may include several initiatives. Participants can accumulate points as they progress, with points being used toward name brand rewards. Social recognition, so you see on the slide the, the people's images up there in the right-hand corner, um, social recognition is a big part of this. People want to be recognized socially. We have e-cards. Uh, discretionary reward points, on-the-spot rewards, quizzes, surveys, these are all part of a customizable web solution. And again, we'll show you a live one here in just a moment or two. This is a, this is a long-term solution designed to attract, retain, and engage your people. All right. And this is the version that Sobo Concepts is currently running. Again, it's just a version of it, and we'll be showing you some of the other options as yep. we go forward. Yep. Um, now I'm going to take a big risk here to the group, and I'm going to click on this and see if it takes us to where I want to go and if the screen works. Drum roll, please. Yeah, drum roll. And I think it did work, so that's great. Um, there we go. You know, hey, so this, this is, I just wanted to briefly show everybody a, a quick, easy-to-use solution. This is called Select an Award. So when you have some people and you want to present a, uh, a card or have something you give to the recipient. There are gift cards that are available, and then the recipient uses the code and the website on the back of the card, and then they go to that particular website, and I just clicked on, on one of the cards at the bottom, and th this will populate the different award choices. This is such a great economical option. It's a uh, low cost, but they're still going to get that warm, fuzzy feeling when they, get, when they get to choose their own gift and they get to open it up and know that it's coming from you. So give the gift of choice, really. That's what you're yep. giving. Yep. So I, think, I thought this would be another good way, too, to let everybody on the webinar see the different types of rewards that we're talking about. Um, I jokingly tell people, you know, it's 7,000-plus name brands, but I always jokingly say bicycles, barbecues, and toasters. Well, that's, uh, I, that's, that's the way I summarize it, but, you know, golf clubs. Oh, it's so much more. Much more. Much more than bicycles, barbecues, and toasters. I, uh, yeah. I'll work on coming up with a better phrase that somehow ties that all. <laughs> and I think 7,000 name brand rewards might be the best way to describe it. So this will give right. you a feel. And when we go to the next example, it's a little bit more detailed and complex, the, the website solution. 
um, we'll, we'll focus on some of those rewards as well. Okay? Great. Okay. Um, I'm going to click over here and go to uh, XCorp. Hopefully everybody should be seeing XCorp. This is uh, when we talked about a uh, customized web solution. This is what Sobo is using right now uh, to reward their, their clients and their customers. Um, everything here is very customizable from the graphics to the text. Uh, every participant would have his or her own username and password. I'm going to go ahead and log in here, and we're going to give you a quick overview of, of the solution. Again, everything very customizable uh, from the graphics uh, to the text. The tabs that you see going across on your page, home, recognize, thanks, wellness, all the way across to log out. This was created in a modular format so that if you Say, for example, have a loyalty solution and you don't need wellness and safety and loyalty, all we have to do is simply turn those off. Or if it's an employee solution and you have all of these, we can turn them all on or we can only use some of these. So, it's, again, very, very flexible. Okay? Absolutely. When we were going through the slides, I mentioned social recognition. What you're looking at here is our recognition wall. Uh, we found that People are more connected to an organization, a cause, or a brand when they're more connected to the people within that organization. So this is social recognition. I sometimes call it uh, Facebook for a uh, company. But as people are recognized or thanked or have certain milestone achievements, their image can show up on the recognition wall, and then their colleagues, their teammates can go in and give it a thumbs up. Okay. This is a great way to build culture within the within yep. your company. Absolutely, yep. it, it really gives a, an organization a chance to create what they, I call that esprit de corps, uh, that that team orientated uh, culture. That's exactly what it's there for. Exactly. Yeah. Across the bottom, for right now, we just have what I call four placeholders. Uh, these are four areas of the rewards catalog. If I were to hover over any of these, it expands, and if I click on any of these, it'll take me to that section of the rewards catalog. But, again, to tell you how customizable it is, we do have a client uh, who had 12 core values for their employees, their mission statement, vision statement. We simply changed the graphic, and when the employees clicked on that, it took them right to those 12 core values, the mission statement, vision statement. So, again, very, very flexible. Okay. Um, I'm going to take you through a couple of the tabs. I'm just going to hit the highlights here in the interest of time and also because I, I don't want to be too long-winded. The first tab is Recognize. And again, tabs can be turned off or on and can be renamed. This is where a manager or uh, someone high up in the organization could use discretionary points, uh, in this case possibly for an employee or maybe for a salesperson. Then we can preload behaviors. So I've already put in here teamwork, leadership, extra effort, some of those things. And then along with that, we can load point values that go with those various uh, behaviors. In the right-hand corner, this is actually a certificate that populates as the uh, uh, person giving out the, the recognition, as they fill this in, it populates with the recipient's name and the reason for the accomplishment. And then that can be sent via email to the recipient along with the points, or we're finding a lot of managers in employee situations prefer to print this out themselves and then present it to the employee. Either way, the employee receives the points and they go right to their point bank. But again, it's another way to give people tools and resources and ways to recognize each other. And then the next tab is the thanks tab. This is what I call the no-cost, low-cost recognition or communication. These are e-cards that can be sent within an organization, everything from thanks, anniversary, birthday, performance. So Kevin, you know, we work together and he, he stays late for a couple of weeks and works on a project. We can make sure that uh, uh, I have a way to, to recognize that and to thank Kevin with an e-card. Okay? Yeah. And then the next couple of tabs, again, I'll do, I'll do fairly briefly, uh, wellness. This is typically going to be for an employee solution. Our wellness solution is a video-based program with over 700 videos, uh, things like yoga, fitness, and nutrition, sleep, and meditation. Uh, we find a much higher adoption rate when, there is, uh, when it's video-based. 
because uh, people don't want to consume their wellness information anymore uh, by reading it. You know, the old paradigm was uh, uh, a person wanted to find out about yoga or Pilates or uh, uh, nutrition. They'd go to the HR department, and the HR person would print out a 20-page PDF and, and uh, hand it to the employee or the person and say, here you go, read that, knock your socks off. Um, mm -hmm. Well, people don't really care to do that anymore, but they will watch a 15, 30-minute, 45, or 60-minute video. And because they do that, we can tell if they've watched that video, and therefore we can associate points or positive reinforcement with that. Um, the wellness solution is also compatible with most calendars, like iCalendar and, Out and Outlook, because we know that people will schedule their uh, fitness and nutrition time if it's on their calendar, and, and they will participate that much more. Uh, it's also very compatible with wearable devices like iFit, Fitbit, Garmin, all those devices. So very, again, flexible and a high adoption rate with the wellness platform. Yeah, that's the best part, too, is the wearable devices are compatible with it. And, I mean, a lot of people are doing this on their own, right? They're getting together with their colleagues or their friends, and they're just motivating each other by, you know, kind of getting competitive. And this is a way just to organize it for your employees, and it's just a really creative and cool way to build culture and morale within your company. Yep. Yep, you're so right, Kevin. This is exactly, you know, it's funny. HR has now realized that uh, not only do we need engaged employees out there, uh, we want them emotionally connected to the cause and the brand and the organization, but we also need healthy, happy, smiling employees. They work better, yeah. they show up more often, they do a much better job, and HR has really dialed into that. So we wanted to make sure we provided HR with a way to uh, make that feasible in this uh, wellness solution. Exactly. Tool. Exactly that. So, I love that one. Great. Thank you. Um, the next couple, you know, safety, this would be typically where we would just put the rules uh, for a safety program. People want to know what they need to do and what do they get. Uh, so this would be where we would list uh, how many points you might receive for attending a uh, safety class, being on a safety meeting, um, uh, no lost time accidents, uh, reporting a near miss, all those types of things. This would be where we would list those rules and objectives. I do want to show you the next tab, which is loyalty. Um, the old paradigm for service awards, 5, 10, 15, 20 years with an organization, the old paradigm was, hey, you've been here for uh, 20 years. Here's a booklet with uh, 30 items in it. Uh, thanks a lot. You know, pick one thing out, and, yeah, boy, we really appreciate it. Well, the new paradigm allows HR departments to put all of their initiatives in one place assigning point values for all those different initiatives, and then instead of uh, giving an employee a choice of maybe just one item at 20 years, they now get those points, and they can pool their points together and select two items or three items or maybe save them up and get something a little bit bigger and better in an odd year, such as the 23rd year or the, the, the 11th year, whatever it is. So this mm -hmm. is really becoming best practices now is, rolling all the HR initiatives together and making sure they work all combined for that organization. Okay. All right. Uh, it's all about choice. It's all about choice. It's all about choice. It's, you know what, Kevin? It's about choice, flexibility, and individuality. I think you're exactly right. And about yep. engaging all those people and making sure that, that we have them emotionally connected. So, uh, rules would be where we would list the rules of the program. Uh, Probably my most frequently asked question is in an employee program is what do we do uh, when we terminate someone? And my answer is always that's completely up to the organization. Uh, we, we take uh, our lead from you. Um, I usually suggest that we don't begrudge somebody their points only because if they were there for six months or a year or three years and, and then they leave that, well, yeah, they earned that, so what if we gave them 90 days to, to spend their points? Um, but just so you know, we can do whatever. Uh, it's really a policy decision that the sponsoring company can make, and we can, we can do it however you want. Uh, spot awards. I want to focus on this a little bit because I think this is really kind of a, a cool and fun thing to do, and it's also very necessary. It's been said that people don't quit a job. They quit a manager. And one of the reasons most people seem to quit a manager is because the manager doesn't, you know, recognize that person or acknowledge their, their good deeds and good work. And so we wanted to create a way for managers to recognize people on the spot, to catch people doing things right. This way-to-go card you see here is about the size of a business card, 
and in actuality and reality that white area is actually a uh, scratch off area much like a lottery ticket where the employee would scratch this off so a manager might might catch somebody doing something great and go over and say hey, thanks way to go here's a card i appreciate that you know please keep it going and do that again now the employee can scratch off this this area here it will reveal a code they go up here to the top right hand corner where it says redeem spot award and they can go to that on their site and right here where it says certificate code they can enter in that code and those points will be immediately deposited into their point bank account so again we wanted to give managers a way to say you know thank you congratulations way to go do it again it's all about catching people doing things right and giving those managers tools and methods and ways to to recognize their people yeah, and just to add on there, I mean, that's just another really creative way to reward them. I mean, just think about how much we all love instant gratification, and that's why a lot of people love getting scratch tickets so much, right? They get to scratch yep. it, hopefully yep. they win right there. These are always going to be winners. So when yep. you hand that to an employee, they're going to feel great. They're going to go in, they're going to punch that in, and they're going to get their gift. It's yep. the closest thing to instant gratification with this. Yep. yep, and in fact, yeah, you reminded me, Kevin, um, another frequently asked question is, you know, are the cards – uh, all the same denomination in points or the same point value. Um, we can do it either way. I think probably the most successful programs I've seen is when the manager nor the employee, nobody knows the point value. So, you know, you might have cards with 1,000 points, some with 3,000, and some with 5,000 points. And so now you, you don't really know. It adds an element of fun to it, but uh, you want to be caught doing things right, and the managers want to be able to hand those cards out so people can go in and get those points. But that's another way to create a little bit of fun with the whole thing. Um, before I forget, I do want to point out, too, this particular uh, demo that I'm showing you does not have two tabs here that um, quite often we use, and those are quizzes and surveys. We do have that. It's uh, standard on this platform. But those, that's, those are two great ways, again, to engage people. Uh, quizzes, uh, you know, get 1,000 points. And we just tell our clients, this is where you can reinforce some of your messaging, um, everything from maybe it's a new product or a new uh, policy or a new outlook uh, for the organization. Uh, you can do it with quizzes. Surveys give, uh, uh, give you a chance to get some real feedback. Uh, but, again, it keeps things fresh for the participants so they can see things and what's going on and uh, just gives them a little bit of, of change every once in a while. Let's say if you had a quiz, or a survey every month that really, you know, engages everybody. Right. And we know how invaluable those surveys are when you give them to your employees. It's a great way to get feedback. And when you incentivize them to complete it, I mean, you're going to get even better uh, yep. returns on that. So. Yep, exactly. Um, we're now into the rewards catalog, and I know we've told you several times 7,000-plus uh, reward items, name brand items. This, this is how that translates into our catalog. So over on the left-hand side, uh, you can see people can shop by category. You see all the different categories that we have here of the different rewards. Or they can go in and do a search based on points, like from uh, 5,000 to 7,000 points here, or by, by name brand. So I just clicked on the name brand area, and you'll see that, you know, these are all the different name brands that are within the catalog. So a lot of different ways. Again, we want to make sure we give people choice. And we want to make sure that we've got something in there for everybody. Uh, I had mentioned uh, during the slides, we talked about experiences and travel. I'm going to go ahead and click on experiences just so you can kind of get a feel for it. Everything from oh, you know, yes. flying a plane to uh, um, you know, a fishing trip, sporting events, a lot of different experiences here. Go ahead, Kevin. I mean, I saw there's one that was uh, walk the red carpet and attend the Grammys. And, and these are attainable experiences. This past uh, Christmas, when the holidays were coming around, I had gone through and looked at what some of our participants had earned. And sure enough, we had a few participants that could have gotten some really cool experiences. I think they had chosen to keep uh, accruing the points. But you can really earn some cool stuff here. And it's not, I mean, you look at these, and there are a lot of points, obviously hundreds of thousands, but you get there quicker than you think. These are actually attainable things, and it's yep. just unbelievable yep. the stuff that Hinda has. Yep, very attainable and uh, very, very fun and very, very popular right now. I just, I just clicked on travel because that is a separate category. But, again, you know, very popular, you know, whether it's a two-night getaway, a three-night getaway, a cruise, um, trip to Disneyland. There are lots of different things here for everybody, and I think uh, 
you know, we would be remiss if we didn't point this out and kind of focus on it a little bit because, uh, you know, we, as Kevin mentioned, it's great to get a vacuum cleaner or a new set of golf clubs, the bicycle, the barbecue, and the toaster, but for some reason these things really help create that emotional connection. You know, people will, will remember a, a two-night getaway or a, um, a memorable uh, experience. They'll remember that forever. Yeah, memories yep. never break. I mean, those will be with you forever. So, I, yep. yeah, experience is um, the way to go. A couple of, a couple of uh, features I'd show you on this briefly would be a comparison basket. Um, we have the ability, uh, we have a comparison basket so where the participant can put up to three items, uh, compare the points and some of the features of those three things. And we want to just make it easy for them. Uh, this might be a good placeholder for somebody if they're, uh, thinking about, what, in this case, a watch or uh, some pots and pans and kind of like, I want to I wanna think about that. Another feature of this particular platform is the wish list. So you see it right here. I'm going to click on my wish list. I love this because it gets people thinking forward. You know, what do I need to do to get that three-day, two-night uh, trip, you know, or the half day at the spa? You know, what is it? You know, is it six months of certain sales attainment? Um uh, is it a certain number of months and or days of no lost time accidents and uh, being on certain committees, whatever it is, um, yeah, these, these things really get people thinking forward, and they can put as many items in their wish list as they want to. Okay? Um, that's, a, that's an overview of this. Um, I think that um, really, um, in conclusion, I would just tell you, you've got a great – partnership now with Sobo and with Hinda, and by utilizing all of the aspects of communication from promotional product to incentives and to recognition, we can put together a program for you that will really hit the mark. Kevin, any other thoughts? Yeah, well, I just wanted to open up the floor since, it, I mean, it is 3.34, but we have a few minutes if you guys have any questions that we could answer quickly. Of course, if it's a very specific question, maybe it would be better to take off in an email, but does anybody have a question they want to? No? Kevin, I Alrighty, great. do have a question. Oh, yeah. Um, sure. The, Who am I speaking with? The, this is Kira with Champion. Hi, Kira. Um, I, was really, I was really intrigued by the um, Select a Reward um, sure. program that you guys have. Um, I think sure. it's something that could be really good for our marketing incentives as well as in-house. Um, but is there is there like a cost breakdown that I could send you an email and go through, like regarding is Definitely. it something that's a month that's like a monthly cost or is it more like a one time thing? It's like hey, we want to buy this many codes from you guys for this amount of for this uh, for this amount of say like a a price point window, say some like sure. a fifty dollar reward code so that somebody could right. go in and pick out a reward. Brad? Sure. Um, for that particular solution, um, you're going to love this, Kira. There's, um, you're talking about select an award where we have yeah. the gift card, and then they can go in and make a choice, correct? Correct. Yep. Yeah, there, there is no setup fee or uh, no monthly fee with that. Um, so that's one of those. And that's why I try to tell people we have, we have numerous solutions um, and, and that's one of the real easy ones to use and implement. So there's no setup fee or no, no monthly fee. It's strictly, you know, purchase of the cards and, uh, and the items uh, when they're shipped out. Okay. So, like, somebody, just so that I understand the concept, somebody puts in the code and they select their reward from the specific um, price point, either a specific price point or, like, a range. And well, then they each select card that. Is, they, designated to a specific price point. So, for example, okay. you would probably you'd talk with Kevin and say, hey, Kevin, I've got these uh, 24 people. We want to spend $75 each approximately on all those people. Well, we mm -hmm. would, you would purchase the card that is for the awards that are in the $75 range. Okay. Yep. Yep. And that's okay. kind of why it's, it's not only is it easy um, – it's easy for you to administer, but it's also easy to kind of wrap your head around, so to speak, because it's just it's kind of what I call a plateau program. It's a price point, okay. and it's maybe a choice of 25 to 35 awards at that price point, and that includes delivery and everything. And, yeah, it's just very easy to do. 
Okay, and we and we and would then, pay. Sorry, go ahead, Kira. That's fine. And we would the shipping. And you said that the shipping would be included, or is the shipping yep. tacked on nope. separate? Nope, shipping is everything is included. Um, and so, Kira, only because you're because you're asking about this, such a specific product. So we have a couple. Um, this particular one, select an award, and I put it up on the screen again here, just in case if you want to reference it. Um, uh, that is, we invoice when you receive the cards. Um, okay. So that gets, gets invoiced right away. And then we have, an another, we have another program very similar. It does not have a card that you present, but it has a code, and that can be invoiced upon redemption. So right. and, and the beauty, you wouldn't it, receive an and invoice that one is if called, somebody yeah. orders. And I just wanted to jump in there because that's that's Gift Select Now we're talking about, right, Brad? Yes, and the, yep, beauty the other one is this, Gift Select Now, correct. Right, and the beauty of Gift Select Now is that it's customizable. So yes. you're going to be able to add your logo in there, and the packaging is customi customizable. So they're, they're both great. Uh, Gift Select Now, I would say, just is a bit more customizable. Yep, correct. So, Kira, my thought would be to have Kevin talk with you about this in detail. But, right. yeah, these, these are great, easy solutions. Um, and, and what we're really trying to do is help our clients get away from what I call the lowest common denominator, which is, well, we don't know what to do. Let's just give them an Amazon gift card. Well, exactly. My, my concern with that always is do you really want your organization or your brand to be associated with uh, toilet paper and dog food? And people always, <laughs> you know, they kind of chuckle. I go, yeah. seriously, that's what people are going to buy if you give them a – you know, an open-ended, you know, Visa or Amazon card. They're going to use it to pay bills or they're going to use it to buy some dog food. And, boy, I don't know. I don't know that's really the message we want to get through. Yeah, right, or which is I what know we've when done I get... in the past for our events. So I, when I saw this, I thought that this would be a really cool incentive for our for our events. We do events up and down the, the East Coast, and we have – We've used Sobo Concept for fidget spinner pens and a lot of a lot of um, branded stuff through actually Ian, who is on the call, as well as a couple other people on his team. Um, but I think something like this would definitely make us stand out just a little bit more in our marketing events. Yes, correct. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, and I'd love to talk to you more about that, Cameron. We could definitely do something. No problem. I'll send you an email later. Wonderful. All right. Is there anybody else that has any questions we could quickly review? I know it's uh, getting late here on a Friday afternoon. You guys might want to take off, but uh, I definitely appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day to come and uh, learn a little bit more about incentives. And, again, if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call or shoot me an email, whatever's uh, best for you. Any other questions or thoughts or comments? No. I know that was a it was a lot to take in. Hopefully, it was just kind of an overview. But hopefully, between the demos and the brief slideshow, that it uh, conveyed you know the power of this partnership, and and that's what we're really trying to do is make sure that we have all the all the tools and resources ready to help all of you. Yeah, and I'll just reiterate one more time: if you guys let me know, I can miss something more specific to you. If you give me more information about what you're looking for or interested in learning about. I can always create another slideshow or whatever's going to work or a demo. So just get in touch. Yep. Okay.